Here's another non-linear inequality for us to graph. What's the first thing that jumps out at you in terms of what the shape is going to be? It should be the absolute value symbols here. The absolute value symbols tells you that you're going to have some kind of V-shape. Now, going from the inequality, we know that this guy should be a solid line, and we should shade where? Since it says y is greater than, that means we're going to be shading above. Well, the rest of this is just graphing the absolute value itself, which hopefully by this time should not be too difficult. The plus 1 inside we do the opposite of that, so that means we're going to go to the left one unit. And then the minus 5 at the end, you do exactly what it says and you're going to go down five units. And remember this 2, that 2 is going to act as a slope. It's going to tell you how steep you are. So in this one we're going to have a vertical stretch. We're going to take this guy and we're just going to stretch him out. So let's get the vertex plotted. We go to the left one and down five units. And then we just use that slope right here. So up to and over one. These points are going to be filled in because I do get to be equal to it now as indicated by the original inequality. So here's my graph. It's a nice V shape so we just draw a nice solid line here in both parts. And there we go. Now this absolute value, this graph that I have right here, takes care of just the absolute value part. It does not take into account the inequality. So it's solid. We've already taken care of that part anyway. Uh, but we need to shed above. Now for this guy, being above means just being above, going up from these points that you have here. So that indicates that we need to shade all of the stuff inside. So any point that you come up with that's on the inside here should satisfy this inequality.